Okay, so you know, uh, calculation of depreciation is sometimes complicated when there are more than two assets in the question. Okay, so here I'll show you how easily you can calculate depreciation from three assets. Okay, so we have a question. I'll show you how to calculate depreciation here. Okay, so let us take a look at the question on the screen. Myra owns a delivery business. The following information is available for her businesses, deliveries, vehicles. Okay, so here there are three vehicles. We can see vehicle A, B and C. Here we have the date of purchase and the cost price of the vehicles are given there. Okay, now what method to be applied to calculate the depreciation for this question? Okay, so let us take a look at the question once again. Vehicles are depreciated using the straight line method at 20% per annum. The business's financial year in is 31st December 2019. Okay, so what is our requirement? So here calculate the balance on the provision for depreciation of vehicles account at 31st December 2019. Okay. So here we have three vehicles. Now we will calculate the depreciation for these three vehicles. Okay. So here you see on the question at different times these assets are purchased. Okay. So here first of all we will calculate for how many months this specific asset is used in the business. Okay. So here we have three vehicles. It is A and the one is B and C okay vehicle A is purchased on 1st August 2017 okay vehicle B is purchased on 1st February 2018 okay and vehicle C is purchased on 1st June 2019 yeah okay so here we know the year ending is 31st December 2019. That means we have to calculate depreciation for these three assets up to 31st December 2019. Yeah. Okay. So here first one is purchased on 1st August 2017. Okay. For the year 2017, this vehicle is used from August to December 2017 okay and from January to December 2018 again from January to December 2019 yeah okay so here this vehicle a how many months used so here if we check we get august to december 2017 here how many months august september october november december yeah so here in 2017 this asset is used for five months okay and here in 18 it is used from january to December yeah that means here 12 months and here in 19 same January to December yeah so here also 12 months okay now vehicle V here it is purchased on 1st February 2018 so in 2017 this asset was not available okay it was not there that time it was not purchased so this asset is purchased in 18 yeah so 18 february to december how many months it is 11 months yeah so for 18 this asset is used for 11 months yeah okay and for 2019 it is used for full year yeah? that means 12 months very easy to understand okay now vehicle C here it is purchased on 1st June 2019 
that means this is absent in 17 in 18 okay so it is purchased in 19 but on 1st june okay so june to december here how many months let us count june july august september october november and december five to seven months okay so here in 2019 this asset is used for seven months okay so now we will check total months okay that means asset a means vehicle a for how many months it is used in the business so here 12 plus 12 equal to 24 plus 5 so here 29 months yeah so vehicle a is used for 29 months okay vehicle b here 11 plus 12 equal to 23 months okay and vehicle c used only for seven months yeah okay so let us write here seven very good so if you can calculate the useful life means working life of the asset in the business then it will be very easier for you to calculate the depreciation okay now what to do now we will calculate the depreciation okay so how to calculate depreciation very good it is quite simple no worries so here on the question the method of depreciation is a straight line yeah here the rate of depreciation is given which is 20 percent okay now for vehicle a we will calculate the depreciation okay so vehicle a equal to the cost price of vehicle a is thirty thousand dollars yeah so let us write here thirty thousand dollars okay this is the cost price very good and the rate of depreciation is 20 percent okay multiplied by 20 percent okay then for how many months we will calculate the depreciation for vehicle a we will calculate for 29 months yeah okay now what you do now again we will multiply by 29 and we will divide this answer by 12 okay so so now if we calculate here what is your answer so let us simplify first of all here 12 okay here 30 times 20 percent equal to six thousand dollars yeah okay then multiply by here 29 okay so now if we multiply 29 by six thousand dollars then divided this answer by 12 what is your answer we get the depreciation fourteen thousand five hundred dollars okay so this is the depreciation for vehicle a now we will calculate depreciation for vehicle b okay simple same way okay so b equal to what is the cost price here on the question cost price for b is thirty six thousand dollars okay let us try thirty six thousand dollars multiply by same rate of depreciation for all the assets it is twenty percent very good how many months we used this vehicle v in the business it is 23 months yeah so let us multiply by 23 okay here same we will divide this answer by 12 okay so now if we simplify here what to do first of all we will calculate the depreciation that means thirty six thousand dollars times 20 percent what we get here seven thousand two hundred dollars yeah okay then if you multiply by 23 and divide this answer by 12 what is your answer here we get thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars provisional for depreciation for vehicle b okay now let us write vehicle c here so 
first of all we will write the cost price okay what is the cost price on the question it is thirty nine thousand dollars yeah okay thirty nine thousand dollars times the rate of depreciation given on the question it is twenty percent same for all the asset then we will multiply the duration okay how many months we used this asset in the business we already calculated it is seven months okay so we will multiply by seven very good and same here we'll divide this answer by 12 okay don't be confused 12 months equal to year okay so we are considering here year so first of all we'll consider for specific one month how much depreciation okay to calculate the depreciation of number of months okay now what to do again we'll simplify same way like before like a and b okay so what to do first of all we will calculate the depreciation so thirty nine thousand dollars times twenty percent what is this it is seventy eight hundred dollars okay now we will multiply by seven and we'll divide this answer by 12 okay so if we calculate if we simplify here our answer is four thousand five hundred fifty dollars okay so we calculated depreciation for all three assets okay now what you do we are required to calculate the depreciation at the end of 31st December 2019 okay so here we will add these three values of depreciation to know what is the total balance of depreciation means total balance of provision for depreciation of these three vehicles okay so here let us add so if we calculate here so what is our addition so here we see 850 we get 32 that means 32,850 dollars total provision for depreciation for these three assets at the end of the financial year which is 31st December 2019 so this is how you have to calculate depreciation if you have multiple assets on the question.